Hi everyone, Mehmet is here. Today I will talk about Rocketbook, a smart, never-ending notebook. Let's get started. This is Rocketbook Fusion. It basically is a cloud-connected smart notebook. Let me draw a triangle. And now I am placing my phone on top of it. And boom, it sends it to a specific folder on my Google Drive. And if you want to erase it, guys, you can just erase it with a cleaning cloth and use this notebook forever. This is cool, right? Now, let's start with the unboxing first, then we will talk about Rocketbook and its application. It comes in this package. Let's see what we have inside. First, we have the notebook. This is a leather size notebook. Um, there are smaller sizes as well. And this is the introduction part. It's important, I will talk about that later. And the first page starts here. This is the test tracker. It is great for projects. Next two pages are weekly planners. Um, you can write the dates and start organizing your week. Next, we have a monthly calendar. Um, it's possible to add six weeks here. We have objectives keeper here and the ideas page next. All other pages are lined and dot grid pages. There are 18 each. This is the pen, pilot friction pen. Comes with the rocket book. It's erasable and this part is the eraser. I don't use this eraser a lot. Um, this is a black ink pen, 0.7 millimeters. They also sell thinner ones and the pens with different colors. We have a cloth to erase our notes. Um, you need to spray some water um, to erase whatever you write down. And this is the manual. Let's start using it and talking about Rocketbook app. By the way, I am going to use guys Joyusing V1XS document camera, a brand new built-in screen document camera to record the pages. And if you want to watch the review video guys, you can click the eye icon on the right top corner. Let's continue. I will set up the Rocketbook app first. It is available for Android or iOS. You can just download it, it's free. And let's open it. I am using my Google account guys, you can use different accounts. And I already completed the registration and this is the home page. It is ready. Let's go back to the notebook now. Here's my Rocketbook. This is the first part, the intro part, and there are different icons and symbols here. I'm just gonna name them. I'm gonna write down planner for the first one and uh, two of my courses for the next two signs. So planner, MHA for you and MCB for you. Here each icon represents a different location or a different folder. And if you just go to the app guys, you will see the same things there. So I want to name them same. To do that, just click the icon, click change destination, and then you can choose the destination here. You see there are different cloud services here. Here I'm gonna choose Google Drive because I use it every day. And yes, now I choose my account again. And then I already have Rocketbook folder. So let me find it. And I already have these folders. If you don't have it, you can create any folder you want by clicking this um, option. And yep, I just choose it. So the first Everlast logo is for the planner. And now I go to the diamond logo and choose MHF for your folder for that one. And I will do the same for Apple icon as well. Yep, this is important guys. It lets you save your notes in different folders and it keeps your notes very organized. Before we start writing, I will show you one more thing. And you see the same signs at the bottom of each page as well. I am using weekly planners a lot. So this is the first three days of January and uh, I just started editing Rocketbook video. And then I'm just gonna write down my other plans. Now I'm gonna position the page within screen. I'm not taking pictures guys, not clicking any buttons. It scans the page appeared at the bottom. And then let me just select it and let's see how it looks like. Yep, it looks really good. Now let's go back and save this file. And you realize now that I need to choose a destination I can choose manually just like that, but it's not what I really want to do. There are icons in each page and you see my first icon was for the planner. I'm going to choose the same icon at the left bottom corner and then I'm going to scan the page one more time. So look at this. Let's do it one more time. When you click next, it wants you to name the file and then after you name it, let's keep it like that. It just sent it to the destination we want. So. You don't have to deal with the destination part, it automatically send it. Now let's go to the Google Drive and check the PDF file here. Okay, it's great, right? 
you can also automatically name the file. To do that, you need to go to settings first and then choose handwriting recognition. Then you see the first option guys, smart titles. Let's turn this on, done. Let's go back, name the file and then scan the page again. Let's see what will happen. I want to name this as a week one. In order to allow smart titling guys, you need to write your title into number signs, like writing hashtags with two signs. Let's see. Next now, it's reading my handwriting. Oh, it says week I. Yeah, I know that. I know that. I need to write my ones uh, very clear next time. Now I'm going to write another thing. Let me grab something and then save it in another file. So let's try. Let's try this. I don't like the fourth quadrant, guys. I'm going to erase it by using clean cloth and I just make it a little bit wet, not too much. Erasing is super simple, guys. You can just erase it like that and then draw it better. Now let me scan this. Let me click next here. And oh, it's JM01. My handwriting, sorry about that. If you just write your title, guys, clearly, I believe it works. And also you don't have to send everything to your drive. You can also send it to your friends, your family members. For example, this is my grocery list. I am sending it to, let's say, my friend, right? I didn't choose any of the signs at the bottom. I just click next. And then I'm going to send it manually by using different options. You see at the bottom, there's share to other destinations option. I'm going to choose that one. Click next. And then click done. And you see guys, there are a bunch of options. There's Bluetooth, there's WhatsApp. There are a lot of options. You can just send it to your friend, your family members, just like that. Okay, this is Rocketbook guys, I really like it. Oh, I almost forget to add a disclaimer guys. So this is my honest opinion and no one paid me to record this video. I always forget uh, adding disclaimers in my videos. I think I forget to add it in the last video. Anyways, I definitely recommend this notebook guys. I've, I think I will probably buy the smaller version because this is really big for me. So I want to keep it on my desk all the time. And I really like the functions like choosing different folders on Google Drive is a great, great plus. Tablets are becoming popular. There are tablets, writing devices, some other tech products. They also offer a very similar feature, but this gives you guys a real pen and paper feeling. And I know it's a big deal for, for many teachers. So you can keep your notes on paper and you can scan it and send it to your cloud. It, it is really good. And also the main reason that I want to switch to Rocketbook is uh, I, I try to limit the number of paper I use in my life. You know, we are teachers, we spend a lot of time writing on a paper and we sometimes waste, right? So, and this notebook guys will definitely decrease the amount of paper you use. It's the biggest advantage I can tell you guys. And also you can digitalize your notes and um, this is another great, great plus. Yep, that's it for today. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask me. I will try to answer your questions as early as possible. Um, I'll be with you in another video about online teaching. Keep watching mathematics. Goodbye.